I feel like this is a every year sort of thing, but if we win this game, we are once again into the Champions League league phase, and hopefully this year, we win the Champions League, possibly. Hello and welcome to part 49 of my Road to Glory Save with Harsh Split in today's episode. We shall be playing our Champions League playoff leg against Dynamo Batumi. Never heard of it. Should be an easy round. Should be getting through quite comfortably. So since the last episode we have started the season off quite well I think. Four wins out of five games. That's not too bad. We did start the season off with a win against Dynamo, then a 3 0 win over Rudis, then a 1 0 win over Golka, then a 4 0 win over Ozashek, then a 1 0 draw against Balupo. So we have done we have done a little bit of transfer business since the last episode. We've rejected offers from Peralta, mainly because the offers aren't too, they're not, they're they're pretty low, they're pretty rubbish. We've promised him he can go if a bid for 15 million comes in. Don't really want to sell him, but if that does happen, we might. So, I can't remember which signing it's happened in the last episode. I know Xerxes happened. Did Gabrich happen? Yeah, Gabrich, yeah, Gabrich that definitely happened. So, two signings we've made, apart from the ones you've seen yesterday are Paul Schnoll, he is a German centre-back, three-star current ability, four-star potential, he's a leading person player and we got him from Monaco for 15 and a half million, they've actually lost, they they made they, they didn't make a profit, they lost six million pounds on him, so I'd say that's quite good business for us, since when his value is over what we, what we paid. Hopefully he, he has started a few games. Don't think he's scored yet. Hopefully he grabs a couple of goals. I don't think he'll grab a couple of goals this episode because he's a defender. Then our second player we brought in is Croatian centre attacker midfielder Mar Martin Batarina. He made three caps for Croatia. That's that's not too bad. He is a he's three star current ability. A star player in the first thing, so that's very good. We got him from Bournemouth for 11.75 million. Did start his career in um, at Dynamo, which it's not too bad. It's not too bad. At least in his creation, so it helps out with the Champions League homegrown players and homegrown players at the in the country. So that's not too bad. We have sold a couple of players, so we sold Radu Dunic to Porto for 1.2 million. Lucas Catavenda has got joined Leipzig for 8.5 million, and then Armin Begic has joined Leon for 1.8 million. So that's all the transfers done. Still got, I'd say, two, three weeks before the transfer window closes. I don't think, don't think anything else is going to happen. Might have a couple of offers, but I'm not sure. So in goal, we've got Deliri. They're back for Mabeling. Hotty, Schmidt and Brezhnik, Theo and Parameter in the midfield, then we've got McKinstry on the right, Kubelich in the middle, Dujan on the right, and Novak up front. Come on lads, let's get a win. I don't know who this Dynamo team is, I presume they're not as good as Dynamo Zagreb. I mean they must be pretty good because Dynamo this year haven't even got into the Champions League. I mean, yeah. Pretty, pretty poor. They've had a pretty poor start to the season as well. What, what kind of start have they had? Four points from the opening five games. That is pretty, pretty horrific. That I'm sure, I'm sure Dynamo are going on a slow slope downhill. They'll get relegated within a couple of years, I reckon. By the end of this save, they will be relegated. Possibly, but I doubt it. Oh, come, come on, let's... I'm hoping we thrash this team in the first leg, which is now, like 4 or 5 nil. then we don't really have to worry too much about the second leg. McIntyre, 
Kubelich, come on, get it in. Shoot. McKinsey, Kubelich puts the ball into the back of the net to make it 1 0 to the mighty split. Not even 10 minutes in, and we're all winning, winning. What a what a good start to this game. Absolute brilliant start. Keep it going, lads. Well done, Delivy. Cherishing current ability as the star rating for the goalkeepers does not mean the thing because we are doing just fine with him in goal. Dvezhnik, Kibelic, Duzan, come on. Come on, Duzan. Oh, he should have put it across. Should have, um, yeah, he should. I mean, we might still get another chance here, even though he did uh, lose the ball. Mabaleg, come on. Yes, go on, get, oh, no, oh, oh, so close, so close for our second goal of the day. But we do get a corner, Theo whips it in. Oh, I thought Martin was going to get his head onto it, but just a little bit too short. Potty, Mabaleng, come on, Kubelic, get the ball up there, please. Bresnik, come on, come on, come on. Cross it, cross it or shoot. No pack with it. It was an okay effort. Didn't really get a lot of power onto that shot, which is why it was a easy save for the goalkeeper. But then Kubelic, that's a good header. I thought, who, who's, who's that lanky dude uh, Theo? Thought he was going to get a header onto that and get the ball and go on the counter attack. But that didn't work out. Come on, lads, we've got half an hour left until half time. Can we get at least two more goals? Maybe just one more goal? Mabaleng. Come on. Kibelic. No back. I think he's offside. I think he's offside. I don't think that counts. It might do. No, disallowed. I thought, I thought it would have been disallowed, didn't didn't hold, hold much hope in. Yeah, see, of course he is. About 10 yards offside. <laughs> that boy needs to learn how to stay onside. He's still young. He can still learn. Delivery, that's a quite an easy catch. Just take your time. Schmidt, just get up real please. Come on, Breznik. Come on, let's get a goal here. Breznik, Duzan, come on. Come on, Duzan. What was it? What was, I mean, that's twice he came across the in, but he didn't. Uh, very poor from him. Potty, Theo, come on. Mabaleg, that's a lovely ball. McKinstry, yes, uh, very, very not really easy save from the Dynamo goalkeeper, but it does go out for another corner. Potty, he was at the back post, but just doesn't get there. Come on. I don't know how we're not 2 you up. We've had so many decent chances. We might get another. We might get a goal here. Come on, Theo. Yes, Dusas Stonkovic has got put us 2 0 up with 20 minutes left until our time. <sighs> Took some time, but we find that we are finally 2 0 up. Are we going to grab a third goal? Two goals in quick succession. Peralta. Dozan! Oh, it's oh, it's very, very close. Come on, lads. There you go. Bips in the corner. Potty is there! It just about goes into the back of it as it is 3 0. My god. Hits the crossbar, the crossbar then just crawls over the line. But I mean, it did bounce over the line, didn't it? Literally crawl. Oh my god, Hotty has just hit the crossbar again. Hotty is looking good for at least a couple of goals this game. If the crosses are, if the delivery is right. Schmidt is there, as it is now 4 0 to split. Struggled to get to the second goal, but now, now we've got it. We are absolutely flying. So it's not even enough time for 4 0 up. Well, I mean, it's too early to say this, but I generally do think we are going through to the league stage. But what this, what would this be like the third consecutive year? I'd say we're now probably a um, now a 
pretty stable Champions League club, I reckon. Even though we still have to go through to through the qualifiers. But hopefully, hopefully in a couple of seasons, I'm hoping we we're at the point where we can just where the league will get the, like its own qualification spot, then we don't have to go through the hideous qualifiers. Even though it's just one round, still don't like doing them. Come on, right, I'll give it about 10 more minutes and we'll make our first couple of substitutions. Theo whips it in. Hottie! What's there? His head was just over the top of the crossbar. Very close. Could have been 5 nil. Might still be. Do's that. Doesn't get there, but does Dreshnik does get there. Puts in a cross. Goes, I mean, on another day. It could have gone in because it's very dangerous that cross or shot. I don't know what it was. Come on, we've got a free kick. Theo is. I don't. I haven't seen Theo score a free kick. Could this be the first one? It's not. It's just narrowly wide of the post. Right, substitution time. I think Peralta is going to come off for Jorgensen. Raymondi can come on for Duzan. Uh, we'll get on one sharp and big hit tree. I think that's all the subs we're going to do. Might get on anti Marach a little bit later on. Might not, might do, might not. Right, come on, we've got 20 minutes left. Don't need to do a lot more. Maybe, maybe one or two more goals just to wrap this first leg up. Mabaneng has the chance to cross it. He does. Raymond, you say, uh, as he puts the ball into the back of the net to make it 5-0. I'm pretty sure that was Raymond's first touch. Well, the first touch I've seen him had. Yes, that absolute superb cross from Mabaleg and a brilliant header. I mean, what if this is a... Bit of an easy match, this is. Hotte is there, and it is his second goal this game, and it is 6 0. I'm, I'm debating whether or not to show you the second leg, because um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to show you the second leg, because if we win this match like 7 0. Uh, maybe not. Dynamo have got a goal back. It's 6-1. I don't think they're going to score five goals in the second leg. That's if we don't score any more goals. I don't think they will. But they, they need, well, they need six goals to win. Ray Bondi has a chance to shoot. He doesn't. Is it? It's not a penalty. How is that not a penalty? He got flattened in the box. Absolute ridiculous. Mabaleng, come on. Mabaleng, come on. See you. Mabaleng. No fact. How has he missed? How was Novak missed? I do not know how he missed that. Should have been 7 1, but it doesn't matter. We've scored six goals, that's the main thing. Breshnik, come on. Let's get, let's get another goal before the match ends. Schmidt. Brezhnik, come on, Theo, come on, Novak, get it back in the box, Raymondi, launch up, puts the ball into the back of the net to make it 7-1 to split, oh my god, this is only the first leg, I mean, it's quite, quite simple, these, uh, this playoff round, <laughs> oh, how long before we get an automatic qualification to the group stage? Must be like a couple of years, I reckon. Maybe that, maybe that even next season. Because I'm not sure. Where are we on the coefficients? Let's take a look. I'm just gonna have a quick look because I don't think I looked in the yesterday's episode. Yeah, so you, know, you can definitely get some praise for assists. That's absolutely amazing. Right, European Europe. Qualification places, so we are currently ranked 12th, so we only need to be 10th, that's when we get our first group stage qualification spots, that's not too bad, I re yeah, I reckon a couple of years we could do it, yeah, not too bad, 
So I think yeah, I think I will play this extra game off camera and then I will come back for a second leg against Dynamo. And you'll be pleased to know that we did manage to beat Istra 3-1 in the end with goals coming from Lava Lancha and two from Marek Novak. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty good match that was. We are still second but we do have Rieka coming up very soon so hopefully next episode we should be back to the top of the league. Back to normal, I hope. So, the lineup for this match will be Delivery in and Goal, a back for Mabeleng, Hotte, Schmidt, and Herald. Theo and Peralta in the midfield. They've got Martin on the right, Kubelic in the middle, McKinstry on the left, and Novak up front. Come on, lads, let's. Well, I think we're already through. I'm not really sure why I'm showing you this, this game, just in case. We do bottle it, but I'm, I'm sure we're already through. Dynamo, if they are going to get through, they need to score at least seven plus goals if they want to have any chance of going through to the next round, which is clearly impossible because no back. How is that not a goal? Oh, for that, that, that should have been a goal, but just hits the post. Come on, lads. I reckon we're going to grab an early goal, I reckon. Get it here first. Come on, Kibelic. Very close. Very good opportunity, that is. Might still get another opportunity. McKintry puts the ball into the box. Here you go. Oh, I think, so. I think it took a bit of deflection off one of the dynamo players, but it doesn't matter because it has found its way to the back of the net to make it 8-1 on aggregate. Uh, <laughs> so, let's I mean, I think we're, we're through now, and we've still got 18 minutes left in the game. Um, I think we are. I think we're going through to the next round. I mean, we might still bottle it. We're not, but you, you never know. You never know with this game. Mabeling. Oh, it looked like a decent throw, but no one got on the end of it. Peralta. Come on. Herald, come on Herald, come on. Peralta whips in, Martin Batterino was at the back post. I thought it took a bit of a deflection. Maybe I might have been offside actually. That's, that might have been why he didn't go out of the recorder. Come on, put some pressure on them. Put some pressure on the Dynamo defence. Come on. Come on. Can't let them keep passing the ball around. You gotta get the ball back, please. Run and babbling. Very good interception. Delivery. Just get out field. Schmidt. Come on, Harold. McKinstry. Come on, Theo. Come on. You bet it's just. Oh, this is very promising. Harold. Come on. Theo, shoot. Oh, tell you what, that's a decent chance. Very decent. Very close opportunity that was. I think it was just a. Just a touch too high, I reckon a little bit lower, it would have been a goal. Kubelic, come on, this is promising. McKintry, this is really good. McKintry. I thought that went in, but goes out for a call. I don't know, how did that not go in? It must have been very close. No back, shoot! Oh. I don't know if that was on target, but they're like a... Really decent effort that. Looked like it was going to curl into the top left hand corner, from my, what I can see. Harold, Kubelic. Harold, come on, let's get it back upfield. Let's get it in the box. Play over the top of the defence when we get the ball. Come on, put some pressure on their players. Is that even an instruction we've got on? Yeah, we do have to get stuck in and. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got press with higher intensity. Theo, Peralta, Nova, come on. This is promising. Cross it or shoot. Martin, oh. I don't know how we're not winning 2-1 to 2-0 or 9-1. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if we don't get any more goals because we are winning 8-1 on aggregate. 
which um, is a bit of a stupid score like that is. I mean, I don't know what else I expect. I was expecting. Harold, come on, that's a good ball to McIntyre. He has a chance to cross it in. He does. Martin, chest is out to Theo, and he hits it over the crossbar. I'm not sure why Bart Martin uh, didn't shoot. He has a he he was in a, he was in good space, but just decided to chest it down to Theo, who then blasted it high and wide. Novak has is injured, so we'll get on Xerxy. Hopefully, he can bag a couple goals. Hopefully, I don't know how many goals. I think he's only got a couple goals this season. Hopefully, I forgot to press play. <laughs> Come on, give it about. Ten more minutes, so will make some more substitutions. Martin Batterina is looking quite tired, so might get him more. Schmidt, that's a lovely ball over to Mabele. What pass from Schmidt? Batterina, Xerxes is there to make it 9-1 on aggregate. Or has he? It's going to be AR. Goal is disallowed. Still 8-1 on aggregate. Must have been quite tight. How tight was it? Bless my cotton socks, that did not look offside. That looked like, I don't know, I don't know how that was offside. It looked like you were practically in line with each other. Babbling? Come oh, on, that's that was nowhere near offside. This, this offside thing is just stupid. They may as well just abolish it. Xerxes has Please allow this one, because this one is definitely a goal. Yes, as it is finally 9-1 on aggregate, Xerxes has got his first goal of the game. All right, we're going to make some more substitutes now. All right, Batterina can come off for Lonchar. Batterina can come off for Lonchar. And I think we'll also get on Anti... We'll get off Kubelic, we'll... Go for a different formation for the final 25 minutes. Play 4 3 3. And I think that's probably about it. We might get on Eduardo for Mabeling. That'll be our final substitution. So I want to save that fifth substitution just in case anyone gets injured or in, in case we get a set thing off. Matic, or, what, what's his name? Maric, not Matic. Matic plays for Man United. But Xerxes with a decent, very good opportunity. He does hit the crossbar. He's very close. I'm sure we're going to get a 10th goal soon. Obviously 10, 10 goals on aggregate. Not 10 goals in the game. Maric. That's a lovely ball. Eduardo. Come on, just run. Now cross it. Xerxes. It's a penalty. Of course it's a penalty. Why is it going to be a R? It's obviously a penalty. He got a shaft. Yes, it's a penalty. We're going to score it. Theo steps up for the penalty. And he puts it into the bottom left-hand corner to make it 10-1 on aggregate. They think it's all over. Now it is. Most definitely is all over for Dynamo. We are going through to the Champions League league phase for the third time of this save, I think. Is it third time or fourth time? I can't really remember. I think it is definitely third. Yes, what a brilliant, absolute brilliant, abs just two brilliant legs. And now we get to see who we're playing because we don't have to worry about any of the group stage draws now. It's just straight into the Fixture announcement. That's quite good. Let's see who we get. We only get 86k for playing in the playoff round. Wow. I was expecting a lot more. Yep, Theo. Absolutely superb. Two brilliant games. Three brilliant games. Who did Carl Karlberg knock down? Shakhtar Donetsk. Not too bad, that. Oh, Cosmic. How do we finish in the top 24? 
Oh my god. I could have had asked for a harder run of games. PS3, that's fine. We could beat them. Gather Tassimai, we could definitely beat them. If we win the first two games, I'll be really happy. Um, I, I think we can win, if we beat PS3, Gather Tassimai, and then Piakos, we're through. The rest of the games, I'm not sure about, because they are, actually, we could beat Bang United, because they are, they're terrible. Did we beat International? I, I, I can't remember. Did we? I know we played against them, but did we beat them? Inter, 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 Inter. Where are they? Oh my, we played you horrendous. Did we ever play Inter? We did, we lost 5-3 to them. That's going to be interesting. So, I will see you all tomorrow where we'll be playing our first Champions League league phase again, games against PSV and Galatasaray. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Identical Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching!